Huge congratulations is for clearing the exam. A long held dream hota hai for a lot of students, and finally your preparation has come to the culmination. And I think that is the best thing to offer to any hardworking, determined student. So huge, huge congratulations to you. Thank you. Right? Okay. So we're gonna start very quickly. एक जो question हर बच्चे को I think पूछा जाता है a favorite maybe in the interviews also. कि क्या चीज होती है दैट मोटिवेट्स यू इट्स अ वेरी टफ एग्जामिनेशन तो व्हाट इज इट दैट पुशेस यू फॉरवर्ड व्हाई इज इट दैट यू सिलेक्टेड व्हाई डिड यू ऑप्ट टू सिट फॉर द एग्जाम एंड व्हाट वाज द कांस्टेंट मोटिवेशन बिहाइंड इट सो आई स्टार्टेड टू प्रिपेयर फॉर द एग्जाम विद जस्ट द आईडिया दैट आई वांटेड टू नो व्हाट्स हैपनिंग इन इंडिया व्हाट आर द इश्यूज एंड सो विद दैट वेग इंटेंशन नॉट दैट वेग इंटेंशन बट दैट गुड इंटेंशन बट सो to just know more of it about india i started to prepare for the exam but eventually as i got into reading i came to know that there is so much of red tapism and bureaucracy and so much of file stacking so that motivated me that i wanted i want to be an effective officer at whatever service i get i i maybe mostly i'll get a, a live services only which is, there is also uh, a lot of red tapism in every ministry so i wanted to be an effective uh, and a responsible and accountable officer who listens to every common man and who gets their work done like very quickly and doesn't irritate them doesn't harass them in any way so that was my constant motivation right and i think that is so great that is such a gem of an advice because certain times people end up creating these hierarchies even when they go to bureaucracy and i think that is such a great thing that you've said that what should push you is to be able to serve people not your own a status symbol that you know i have cracked ias or ips or this yeah. that that is that is such a great thing to say and so throughout this upsc one of the basic things that students ko hum constantly bolte bhi hain is ki apna optional soch samajh ke chuno because at the end of the day aapka optionals you make or break so okay. why is it that you chose psi you were, you you also done your graduation in uh, political science right, right. so uh, what was the motivation how much did your graduation help you through the process so i chose for, uh, psi because i graduated in the same field and uh, but majorly because i had interest in it many people told me that i should take sociology uh, sociology instead of psi because it has limited course and uh, but i felt like i'm more comfortable with political science because i have interest now how much does graduation subject helps you it helped me in a bit because i was acquainted with the terms i was acquainted with the philosophers i was acquainted with the how the course would flow but beyond that i would say that it's not that important that you should have graduation in the same subject as your optional if you have interest and if you have time in your hand to cover the whole course that much is suffice uh, to take uh, the optional as and whatever you want right and how much did you have to spend did you have to spend a lot of time on answer writing i mean also because you've done your undergrad and i mean we might be familiar but undergrad may you have to write like hazar hazar word ke answers and now you have to reorient yourself towards writing 250 words ke answers which is mainly maybe you know engineers are more apt at doing it ke han ji point mein rakhna hai rather That's than maybe a humanities student so did you have to reorient yourself ke acha maine research paper nahi likhna i have to write upsc answers that's true actually i face this problem now that you say i recall it <laughs> i forgot so yeah i did do a lot of answer writing so before uh, like in my uh, preparation time during when i was preparing for prelims i did it for 2 3 months i joined in uh, shubhranandan ma'am's coaching institute for uh, political science and uh, but majorly i did it after clearing prelims only mm-hmm. and uh, starting me it was difficult because i have i have the habit of writing so already i have a habit of exaggerating things that okay this morning ye hua tha fir wo hua tha so it was difficult to pinpoint that okay you have to put it in uh, you have to just say the good words but then you have such limited time in your hand naturally that uh, thing comes into you that you just want to write what is the most important right absolutely that's great okay uh, so now moving on to the basic part which motivates a lot of people you are so young 
you are a fresh graduate right what is your advice to first timers my advice to first timers would be that don't rush don't think you can multitask you can't i mean like of course there are people who say that they've cleared it in 3 4 hours i don't know how they did it i gave good 12 hours to studying every day i didn't do anything not like literally nothing for the whole two years that i was preparing for the exam except for studying so uh, just give it your time and give your 110% so when i didn't get into the list in my first attempt a lot of people asked me are you going to give another attempt my answer was no because there's nothing more i can do <laughs> it was it was my level of doing it and like i did i completed my whole course i revised it i did everything all already i did everything so there's nothing new that i can do so uh, so that kind of satisfaction is there with you that uh, if you uh, if you give your 110% you know you haven't clear you haven't left any scope otherwise i've heard many people say after their prelims that they didn't get into prelims because ancient history ne padi thi is bar is bar medieval history ne padi thi they find loopholes in their preparation but honestly if you give your 110% you would not find any new post so you will be very satisfied with your preparation so when you face the exam you will have that confidence in you that acha agar mujhe nahi aata to fir koi baat nahi <laughs> it's okay i did my best there's nothing more i could do so do not multitask do not juggle with things and do not think that it's a cupcake but also do not think that is such a big an exam there are many competitive exams which keep on happening around the world of course the percentage of people who make it to the final list is very small if you look at that but uh, once you've prepared the prepared your mind seeing all these stat- statistics that okay there's 60% reservation there is uh, only 1000 people would get in then don't think about it <laughs> just right. think before it at like, the end of the it's one thing Yeah. Yeah. Just think before it. Think everything through it. Yes. Take a rational choice. It takes a lot of your time. You have to give in two years at least because one year you will prepare and one year the whole exam process would be. But once you are in it, then if somebody says, "Are a sixty percent reservation? Are a ye hai, wo hai?" Then don't pay heed to it. And uh, then you just have to give your best. And secondly, I would say that strategize. And uh, there are. of course i and you set your own course you are the captain of your own ship there are a lot of people who will be advising you ye kar lo wo kar lo but aapko khud ko sochna hota hai like so many people say that newspaper reading is so essential i didn't read newspapers <laughs> so so that worked for me because i found it so stupid to read 3 uh, to give my 3 hours in reading newspaper when i can buy current affairs booklet and re-revise it 12 times before actually reading you are appearing for the exam so different people have different takes on it but you have to be the captain of your own ship right and i think you extensively prepared you are well researched you know where to and how to utilize your time so what were your sources that you were constantly say going back to for particular stages of the exam because her stage bhi itna different hai ki aapko apni preparation ko us hisab se modulate karna padta hai to aise kaun se sources the that you were referring to so for prelims i gave one year so um, and in that duration i prepared for mains also uh, completed my optional so firstly uh, in the f- i broke the list i researched i searched all the internet kon kya book bolta hai kya sahi bolta hai then i drew my own list that these are the books i will refer then i gave uh, four months to it to complete the whole course so once uh, now you do, you want me to tell the sources or you want me to tell the strategy i'm just confused uh you can you can do both of them together maybe you can talk of the strategy and then for a particular strategy what were the main sources that we used yeah so uh then i did a first reading for four months uh, of what uh, everything that's static in the uh, syllabus and uh, along with that i was uh, i read uh, vision current affairs it was my bible it's okay and i was pretty shocked in prelims that not much of it was asked from it <laughs> but uh, because it was my bible i did not leave it for mains also because i was so so thorough with it i would know okay agar 4g likha hai to is page mein yahan pe likha hoga so i was so thorough with it but uh, so i started i did that for four months then after four months i picked up previous year's uh, question papers 
and i try to reorient my uh, studying that whether what i'm reading actually gets asked and in what form does it gets uh, gets asked then i uh, started to then i started to revise and i started to add the things like somewhere if i in art and culture i felt that 11th class that Tamil Nadu book is not enough, so I add added NCRTs to it. So in each, uh, that kept on adding. I relied heavily on sleepy classes for uh, environment. I I tried to do the Shankar Iyer's because many people say that Shankar Iyer's book for uh, environment is good. But then it had it were had so many of jargons. I felt it's so complicated and. that much is i cannot retain so that is also very important you can read a book but how much can you retain you can read a newspaper every day but how much can you take home that's the main idea you have to retain it in your head so i relied completely for economics and environment on sleepy classes i did economics uh, vivek singh book also but then i find uh, but then i found that it's not enough so i relied on sleepy class so i did vajigam coaching but i felt like it 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 just touches like a drop in the ocean it's they teach too less so you have to you ha- you come to know that there so much uh, so many areas where your preparation is lacking so even then you uh, f- so firstly you have to complete the whole course and then you reorient that uh, whether your course is enough or not enough and then at least revise it five times before actually giving prelims and uh, i would suggest that you should complete your optional two times before sitting for prelims uh, because uh, then after prelims you just get 2 to 3 months and because prelims have become so uh, random these days and uh, so many answer keys show so many answers to it people get confused like i wasted my 15 days after prelims thinking i didn't clear it only so uh, they, because the answer keys were so so many answer keys were giving so many different um, calculation my calculation was giving so many different uh, marks to myself to me so uh, all of this happening have all of this keeps happening then you have to keep contingencies also in your plan many things you you will get sick some days you will have some very important things so you do have to keep that contingency uh, in your plan uh, but for me it's what i realized was that um, what i didn't do but i thought that i should have done that i should have had a uh, notebooks for gs 1 2 3 4 i may, i started doing it after prelims but then it was too late for it i couldn't collect, collect that much of good material and uh, once you had gs 1 2 3 4 and essay and your two optionals uh, my optional was political science so i relied completely on shubhra ranjan ma'am for political science uh, she is completely breathtaking in her subject her grip is breathtaking but uh, if you can't uh, go to coaching because of lack of time or resources then just rely on her notes they are good enough but don't rely entirely on for international relations on her notes they are not suffice because it's a dynamic thing it keeps on changing also so you have to add that's the thing i did so i i was shocked i was like okay how much it, how i faced problem in writing aiya because of it so it's my advice that do not rely fully on it then uh, post that uh, i uh, where was i essay you've done your optional yeah I yeah say. notebooks gs 1 2 3 4 essay and uh, your two psir so and uh, read newspapers opinions and editorials but not all opinions and editorials will have relevance one year after when you will be actually writing mains newspaper reading is not that important for prelims because prelims is very factual so you can easily do it from inside india or from uh, cp classes there were there used to be contest every day five questions yes. current affairs yeah daily i used to do that then you can do it from vision current just so pick a source and two three more sources and it will you just have you will just have to give one to one and a half hour every day for current affairs then. but uh, maintain these notebooks uh, i used evernote for it but uh, as in one pieces and uh, start keep putting out things which you think will have relevance even after a year when we will actually be writing mains because mains is now becoming a lot many week questions were asked in these this year mains where you had to think acha likhe kya isme so you need to have a lot of matter in hand but uh, mains ka the plus point is that the syllabus is so detailed 
you can pick cyber security now cyber security mein you can have you can, you should have your own at least 4 to 5 pages of content in it cyber security mein kuch bhi puche at least you can write your content <laughs> that much is there <laughs> because it's so matlab aapko samajh hi nahi aata aap kya likho answer mein so you should have at least ki bhai hame do pages bharna hai to mere paas panch pages ka content to hona hi hona chahiye that way and so uh, i maintain this notebook after prelims and so because you have just two hours to revise for the next main exam that you write so i could revise my notebook but i could i cannot revise the whole all the sources that i have True. and it is very important to revise i thought that koi baat nahi kya ja raha hai nahi karenge revise because i am very poor at note making but then gs1 mein aapka dimag ekdam alag chalna chahiye aap history se sochne chahiye aur polity se sochne uh, aap history se sochne chahiye aap geography se sochne chahiye fir 2 ghante baad hi aapka ekdam political science mein wala dimag chalna chahiye gs2 ke liye fir gs3 mein aapko economics aani chahiye to aapko apne aap ko orient karna padta hai dimag ko so for which uh, it is very important right. to revise notebook and for interview i again did the same i maintained my own notebook and i thoroughly did every topic which i have written on my daf i invented my own questions because you have to i created at least 500 questions in my mind that which can be asked and i prepared an answer for it uh, and the 2 to 3 months were enough for interview preparation and you have to keep reading newspaper newspaper reading is important for mains and interview when i was preparing for mains i read three newspapers and when i was preparing for prelims i didn't read even one so everything has a different way of approach right and so interview again ek bahut hi crucial aspect hote hai of the entire uh, process so how much did you feel ke mocks help you preparing both मेंटली क्या आपने एक पैनल के सामने बैठना है एंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ कंटेंट आल्सो कि आपने क्या आंसर्स बोलने हैं किस तरह से उनको स्ट्रक्चर करना है सो हाउ हेल्पफुल वाज दैट इंटायर प्रोसेस मॉक्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन फैक्ट टेस्ट इन एवरी प्रोसेस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई टुक ऑलमोस्ट 50 टू 60 टेस्ट नो 100 टेस्ट फॉर प्रीलिम्स एंड आई रिवाइज्ड ऑल द ऑल ऑफ द 100 टेस्ट फॉर प्रीलिम्स three times because you have to keep doing otherwise aapne jo galti wahan kari hai wo aap end mein bhi karoge mains also i took uh, two three coaching classes uh, test series majorly relied on vision which again is a fault because i read revision i read vision and i wrote exam of vision so i was scoring great in vision <laughs> but that's not upsc is about so definitely don't do this read different sources and then appear in different uh, coaching institutes exam uh, test series then then for interview also i joined uh, two to three classes uh, for mocks i came in for cp classes and because i was so interested in meeting shekhar sir because i have only heard his hello on the <laughs> cp classes so it was great but it was my first mock so i was very nervous also it was not a good uh, good uh, i don't think that i gave that good of an answer which i gave in my other following mocks so i gave almost 6 uh, to 7 mocks and they help me prepare okay this is how the panel is going to ask and you they give invaluable feedback to you which is very important because any time you appear for an interview you want to ask maine kaisa bola match hi thi kya so uh, but you can't do that in upsc so if uh, if those people who are as learned as them and they are taking many retired officers coming to take interviews so that gives you a confidence that okay you can face uh interview and they also tell you how should you greet them how should you become more presentable and it's not that much about knowledge because in an interview no matter what you do you only have 30 seconds to reply you can't take like good 5 minutes to think ki acha kaun si book mein kahan padha tha so either you know it or you don't know it and uh, but they i felt like they check in interview not how much you know but uh, how if you're smiling after not knowing it or you're not smiling are you under stress or you're not under stress that counts a lot right because after all you know practical everyday problems we sabko sare solution nahi pata honge but kya aap usko ek cool headed approach se dekh sakte ho ya nahi dekh sakte ho i think that was some invaluable advice anjali i think it was a very honest chat very clear presentation ki ye karo ye mat karo and i think first timers second timers everyone's going to have a lot to learn from this congratulations again Thank an amazing so. attempt 
a uh, great preparation and we hope to see big things from you thank it was you, great it was great talking to you looking forward and i really thanks tp classes team for uh, i really like so much i mailed sleepy classes so much i used to comment on <laughs> sleepy classes video and environment series is just impeccable and uh, so is the economic series there is so m- so much in economics to learn that uh, books don't cover but because uh, shekhar sir keeps updating that is why uh, you actually come to rocky okay you can link them so i would greatly suggest i used to suggest it since the starting <laughs> that okay read uh, go to sleepy classes but to all the viewers do do rely on sleepy classes really so sweet <laughs> that is so sweet okay. all the- thank you